On 4th August, events took a very serious turn. Attacks on the police, including police stations and government installations, intensified even as overall levels of violence greatly escalated. Properties of individuals associated with the regime were torched across the country. What was particularly worrying was that minorities, their business, businesses and temples also came under attack at multiple locations. The full extent of this is still not clear. Sir, on 5th August, demonstrators converged in Dhaka despite the curfew. Our understanding is that after a meeting with leaders of the security establishment, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina apparently made the decision to resign. I think it's a very important statement by Mohammed Yunus. I've known him for many years on the international circuit before coming to India. And I have a lot of respect for him. He's not somebody who's likely to uh, in any way condone violence, uh, especially against minority populations. Uh, Bangladesh has a number of people who are also opposed to violence against Hindus. There have been good incidents of uh, cases in which uh, temples have been guarded by, by Muslims, including civilians as well as police and others. I'm certainly hopeful that we will be in a position to see uh, calming down and settling of the situation and safeguarding of minorities. That is a very, very major concern for India. And I'm very glad that the Indian government has already made it clear that for us, that is a very important issue. And diplomatic relations will remain the same? Yes, yes. I think Bangladesh is a neighbor. There is no question for us of uh, interrupting diplomatic relations. Our relationship is with the people of Bangladesh first, the state of Bangladesh second, and the, any individual prime minister or leader comes third.